What's going on everyone, it's Rick Arter here. Today's video, I am going to attempt to get the highest overclock that I can on my Phenom 2 X2555 Black Edition CPU. Now this is not going to be for any type of stability, this is just going to be the highest overclock I can achieve in Windows. And I've got a new CPU cooler mounted. Changed around my computer a bit, so if you want to see that, check out some other videos. I'll put some links in the description. So I want to start off here in BIOS, show you guys some settings that I'm going to start out with, and then I'll boot into Windows, and then we'll go from there. Alright, first off, I just want to say I really enjoy working with the Gigabyte BIOS. It's a very nice layout. I like the settings. The values are nice as far as uh, increasing voltages. So first off, let's go to the Motherboard Intelligence Tweaker. And you can see here, this is all of our stock settings and all the stock voltages. So I'm going for basically a CPU only overclock. So what I want to do is take everything else out of the equation. So we're going to lower our memory. go in here and we should be good with all this so what we're going to do is give ourselves an increase on the CPU voltage to start out set it to normal so we'll give it pretty high voltage but we're going to need to increase it in Windows anyway so we're going to set the CPU ratio to start out at 3.6 and then we'll go from there, we'll keep everything else auto so we are booting into Windows at the moment Show you guys just the start up here real quick. And the computer isn't overly loud either. Show you guys that in a second, just a quick look. The setup. And while this is actually it here, this is my desktop wallpaper. I had someone ask about this. This is actually a picture I took. It's not the greatest, but I thought it was pretty cool. And it, it's uh, my setup basically in the half 912 stock cooler. So now what I'm going to do, we're going to check everything out, check our temperatures, and I'll open up some programs. We'll start overclocking this thing, see how high we can go. Just a quick look at the tech station for all you guys who haven't seen it. That's our cooling. We've got a fan here over our VRMs, our Northbridge. And the fan there is pretty close to the memory, so it's sucking some heat off there. But like I said, this is pretty much a CPU only overclock. Okay, so I'm in Windows now, and I'm going to be using AMD Overdrive for my software overclocking see here we also have CPU-Z, this is version 1.58 which is as far as I know as of making in this video is the latest version I also have Core Temp 1.0 at the bottom there, I know I'm not really talking about temperatures but I just want to check, just want to keep a monitor on them while I'm doing this, I'm sure they're not going to go up very high just because I'm not loading the CPU up for example it says we're at 22 Celsius now which is not this is why I always stress to people that idle temperatures do not mean anything because my CPU is at 22 degrees Celsius with a max of 25 so far that I've been been idling here yet my room temperature is currently 27 degrees Celsius so there's no way that's right so idle temperatures don't mean anything anyway moving on so you can see here we have our multiplier adjustments uh, hypertransport multiplier reference clock all that other stuff here 
CPU voltage. Okay, let's start this out. First off, I want to increase my CPU voltage slightly. We're at 1.4 volts. Let's up the multiplier. 19.5. Three point nine two six. Let's up the voltage slightly more. One point four seven two. That should get us. Let's try twenty point five. All right, four point one two seven gigahertz. I easily think we can get more. Let's try a little more. Oh, blue screen. So 4.127. I know we can hit 4.2. Okay, well, we're back into Windows once again. Let's try this one more time with AMD Overdrive. If I can't get 4.2, then we're going to try the EasyTune 6 software. And if I still can't get 4.2, then, well, I'll be kind of upset, but I think it's possible. Let's try it out. So we're sitting at 1.488 volts right now. 4.026. So we're going to increase the voltage one more. Should be 1.504. So let's try... Now this is our previous overclock of 4.127. So let's go 21 times. There we go, we got it. 4.228. I don't know if we can hold this for long enough so I can get you guys a close up of this. Hopefully, you guys can see that. 4.228 gigahertz at 1.504 volts I wonder if we could even go a little further let's try it out, see if we can get 4.3 oh that's a little high, 21.5 oh, yep, so that's as high as we can go, but I'm definitely happy I got my 4.2 so alright guys, well I met my expectations I wanted to hit 4.2 gigahertz. I got 4.22. Very good. It's a nice start. Uh, so now I can go back and do some hardware bot uh, uploads. See, I'll chat with you soon. More videos to come.